This case is like a double-edged sword. You know, on one hand, I am so excited for some of these minis. They are going to be incredible. Literally cannot wait. But on the other hand, I'm like, well, I kind of want these as 155 scale die cast though. Like, are we ever going to get them in full scale? And you guys are going to know what I'm talking about here very, very soon. But yeah, welcome back to another case reveal breakdown here on the Mr. Docket channel. This is Mini Racers Singles Case S. That is the boxes, which are kind of scant. They aren't very much available at many retail locations. Of course, you have the obscure grocers like Kroger, HEB, Fred Myers. Sure, they have them. Fry stores, two down the Southwest. But Target, Walmart, they do not carry these. And that's always been kind of a mystery in and of itself to me. But without any further ado, this case here is scheduled for June 1st of 2023. Now, they are ahead of schedule with these mini singles, whereas they are very much so behind schedule with the two packs that we did yesterday, which was also Case S. They are ahead of schedule on the minis, okay? Because the last case, Case R, with Chief Dis and the Suki Clown and Deputy McQueen was scheduled for April 1st, and that came about two weeks early. So that's pretty awesome. Hopefully this one does as well. I want to shout out Get Me Collectibles. Check out his eBay store linked in the description below for your car's needs. If you need to buy anything from mini racers to full scale to Disney store, whatever it may be, he's got so much listed. And also if you intend to reshare these contents elsewhere, please refer back to this video, give it some credit, give it some love. Please just be respectful and mindful and let's get into it. All right, we have two flipped over, two Mac, two Raul Serrul, the French World Grand Prix racer, two Rusty Rusties, three Tex Dynaco, four of Radiator Springs Lightning McQueen, five of the fabulous Hudson Hornet, and five of tie dye Fillmore. So those are all the re-releases in this case. Not bad. I think it's a little weird that they're doing five of Fabulous Hudson Hornet and tie dye Fillmore. Those are random to me, but I don't know. Whatever. We're just going to quickly move on to the new releases here. Starting with Cryptid Hunter Lightning McQueen. There are four Cryptid Hunter Lightning McQueens in this case. Now this brings up the question. Will it be accurate to the episode? Will it have all of his doodads, the roof rack, the antenna, all that stuff? Because, you know, with the color changer version, which is a full scale item, they didn't do any of that stuff. They literally just put his camouflage decals on the side. And same thing with Tomica, which is a completely different company, but they did the same thing. Now, obviously, their full on 155 scale diecast of Cryptid Buster Lane McQueen is accurate, but the Mini Racer being so much smaller, are they going to omit some of these details? And let me make a prediction here. I think they will omit the antenna, but I think it will include, though, the roof rack and it will look pretty solid. Like, I think it'll look good but I don't see it having the antenna like the full scale version does. But it's good to see this one, although I must say to get this one, the color changer and the 155 scale all within like a month of each other, that's a little much for Cryptid Hunter McQueen. Like I think there could have been some other better mini choices to do. I don't know, maybe you know you could say there were better color changers to do or there were better 155 scales to do, but I just think it's a little bit of an oversaturation for a variant that isn't super great. Like, why not do Road Rumbler McQueen? I think that one would be better, just in my opinion. Anyways, we have three Royce Revsleys. Now, this is the only mini racer to have actually leaked out at the time of me recording this on the Thailand Facebook groups. I don't have a picture of it at the moment, but you guys could probably visualize it. I'm sure you'll see it soon. It looks pretty good. Like, it looks solid. And this was a pretty expected mini, at least for me, because they had done, you know, they did that's jamming, and they have been severely pushing Royce Revsley. You know, he gets a single release. He gets the accessory two-pack release. He gets included in the Salt Fever nine-pack. Mattel likes Royce Revsley 
us as collectors, as a fandom, I think we like Royce Revsley. So here are three minis in the case of Royce for you. I like that. But here's where it gets really interesting because these two are not out as diecast and they're not out as anything. Not McDonald's, not Shop Disney, not Tomica, not Color Changers, not Play Sets, not the 155 scale diecast line. Here we have Mattel Mini Racer exclusive designs of Clutch Humboldt. That's two of Clutch Humboldt. They should have done five of this one in my opinion. But that is the... Bigfoot Hunter RV, believe it or not, big dog there in the center. <laughs> Again, we could ask the same question. Are they going to omit some of these details like the satellite or whatever else he's got going on up there? Because he is an RV. He's got a whole bunch of crap loaded up, right? So I think it'll still look good, you know, like RV. RV is a pretty bare bones RV. doesn't have all this stuff, but I think you could expect like a similar size, the RV, a similar girth as RV, and I think he will have some of those accessories. Super pumped about this one. Such a cool character, and this is what I mean. I really hope we can get him as a 155 scale diecast down the road, because it would be amazing, right? You know, we got Larry Camper, Doug RM, and Bod way back when. Can't believe that's almost like eight years ago now. Ridiculous, but Hopefully they can replicate that and do some of the RVs that appear in cars on the road. You know, there's a road rumbler RV with horns. Can we get that? Please, Mattel, please. Whew. All right. And last but not least, we have two of Mad Scientist Mater. Let me say that again. Two of quote unquote Mad Scientist Mater. Now, as you can see on the screen, that is my prediction for what Mad Scientist Mater is. Could it be something else? Sure, it could. It could be Dr. Epschleppwagen from Unidentified Flying Mater. Is that really a mad scientist? Uh, I don't know. Is even what we see in Cars on the Road a truly mad scientist? I would probably argue yes more so. I mean, he's got a zombie and a tank. He also has the Illuminati pulled up on his screen if you look in the background there. So he does come across as a little bit shady here. But again, like I said, it could literally be anything that kind of barely maybe even fits the bill of mad scientists. However, what we do know is that this is a new release and that's pretty awesome. Four new releases in this case. The last case only had three. The case before that had four. The next case has... The next case is pretty good. The next case is pretty freaking good. Wish I could say more, but you'll have to tune in in two months. Wait, I can reveal that case. Yeah, two months. July 1st. Oh my gosh, July 1st. Where will I be on July 1st? Hopefully in a good place, but that is far away. All right, guys, thank you so much for watching this video of some sexy mini racers singles. Really pumped about this case, primarily for Clutch and Mad Scientist Mater, but Royce is not to be slept on. I just hope that Cryptid Hunter McQueen looks somewhat good. Again, it's a mini. I'm not expecting it to be fully detailed. I mean, what? The minis are like 1 118 scale or some craziness like that, okay? So not expecting the world with him, especially after they already delivered quite well on the diecast. All right, guys. Thank you so much again for watching this video, and I'll see you soon for another one. Bye now.